tomorrow uh, there will be no stream and Thursday and Friday there will very likely also be no stream uh, I have surgery tomorrow I'm getting my gallbladder removed and hopefully once that happens after you know a few days or whatever being in pain from the the procedure uh, hopefully I'll be feeling better and things can can finally get back to normal I have not felt normal in about four months so I'm really really hoping that that this procedure will uh will will make me feel better again i guess but anyway uh i will not be on the next few days uh probably for the rest of the week and then i i plan on being back on monday so that is the hope um but yeah uh so today we're gonna play the pioneer prelim we're playing more rakdos played rakdos yesterday got three two in a league currently two one in a league uh I made a couple changes. I'm not playing the Lily of the Veil in the main deck. I'm just playing the exact same main deck other than I'm up a castle in this build that I played at an RCQ this weekend that I got second place at. Um, and then in the sideboard, I'm actually trying a couple copies of Graft Digger's Cage today because Angels has been pretty popular lately on Moto, especially in these prelims. Uh, so I'm trying a couple Graft Digger's Cage. I cut one of the Pithing Needles because I don't think you need the Pithing Needle to beat Lotus. It definitely helps to have it, but I don't think you need it. It has other matchups where it's good too, obviously. It's good against Mono Green, stuff like that. But the one copy is still fine. We'll just go to one. Uh, and then I also trimmed a Duress. Because, again, third Duress, kind of a flex slot. A lot of times these lists don't have that. So I'm going to go without the third Duress today. We'll see how that works. Um, giving up a little bit against Lotus, but I've still got plenty of good cards against Lotus that I'm going to bring in. The two Duresses, the two Bank Busters, uh, and the Needle. So I've still got five cards. Still got a pretty good sideboard plan for them. Can bring in the gold blank too, so that'll be the sixth card. Um, but yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to this. Let's see how this goes. When we finish the league later, we'll go back to the build we were on yesterday, which had the Lily of the Veil. The Lily of the Veil's fine, uh, but it's certainly a flex slot, and I just wanted to go to the second Croxa. I think second Croxa just generically a little better. Um, so we'll see how that works. Got about a minute and a half here to go, and then we'll be in. Still trying out that cake, man. I want to see how good that one is in the mirror. But I think it'll be very good. You'd bring it in a few other matchups, too. It might be okay against Mono Green because it blows up an artifact. I don't know. We'd have to think about it when we're boarding, but... I think it's very good in the mirror. The one thing the sideboard's missing that it might want is, like, a Sky... So I, I kind of like having one of those big five-mana plays... So Sky Sob, some lists have actually played Glorybringer. There was a guy at the uh, Calgary RC, I believe, that played Glorybringer. And honestly, it seems pretty sweet in the mirror. Um, but you've got Glorybringer, you've got Sky Sob, you've got Black and Voke. All these things are very reasonable options, I think. All right, last time this guy was playing, he was on Mono White. Well, that's not a keep. It's not a great start. Okay, this is a keep. It's definitely a keep. It's kind of awkward. Shieldred's really important against them, but I'm a ways off it right now. Could just get rid of the Blood Tithe Harvester. I've already got multiple plays, right? We've got Thought Seize, Removal Spell, Removal Spell, and then just try to get to Shelly. That's what I'm going to do. Always on angels. Okay. Well, thank God I put those cages in the sideboard, huh? Why do all my opponents' sevens have to have two Cocos? <clears throat> Pretty annoying. Well, Coco's a huge problem. I probably just have to take that. 
Nazand is very good. Inspiring Overseer is super good in these kind of matchups. I know the group I've been testing with has been saying they don't like the Overseers because they're three mana, a little clunky. But in these kind of matchups, they are very good. They're very good against blue-white, too. This generic two for one. I mean, that's pretty good. Yep. Okay, well. Uh, it was honestly one of the best draws in my deck. Let's play that Giada now. Thank you. <clears throat> Could try to blood something away, but I don't think that's a good play. I'm happy with my cards here. Removal spell and shieldred, pretty reasonable here. Oh wow, it's he missing lands. That's pretty big for me. All right, I'm gonna attack and see if he'll let me stomp this. I'm gonna tank on it for a little bit, and then I'm gonna play Bone Crusher Giant. We gotta get pressure on him. I don't think I'm going to win the game if I just Dreadbore this and attack. I don't know. Maybe I am. I guess Dreadbore, attack you, pop blood. Because I don't want this game to go very long at all. So, but the problem is he has this Righteous Valkyrie, which is just a way better card than Bishop. Do I just hope he misses one more land drop? Very interesting. I really want to get this into play as soon as possible. The Shieldred is a get it in as soon as possible kind of card here. Um, man, this is, this is a tough spot for me. I could pop this and see what I draw. I don't really like the Shadow that much. I don't know though. Pressuring him might just be the way to win. Hmm. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. It's a tough turn. Really tough turn. I might just need to hope he misses another land. And if that's the case, what is the play that gives me the best chance to win in the long run here? Excuse me. I really don't want to Dreadbore this, but I might have to. The problem is the Righteous Val. I just, maybe I just have to hope he misses a land. I don't know. I know his hand is these three cards. I think my play here is going to be... I could always blood away the Shelly, too. This is so tough. Because, like, being able to play this to pressure is kind of nice. If I'm going to commit to Dreadboring, though, then I think pitching this makes sense. I'm going to go with this line and just kind of hope I think that he misses a land or that I can draw a different removal spell. Like if I draw a fatal push or whatever, that'd be kind of nice. I'm going to attack and see if he blocks. I think I want to save this for the the Righteous and just play this. Okay, opponent was afraid and didn't block. 
That's interesting. All right, play this skill. I feel like they're supposed to block there, honestly, but... I don't know what's in their hand, obviously. It is dependent on what's in their hand, obviously. And considering they're not drawing lands, they're probably drawing two drops. So, yeah, hit another land. It's pretty rough for me. Uh, we'll see if they play the Overseer to try and hit another land. I think that'd be a good play. Okay, that's not what they went with. That's pretty good for me, overall. I mean, I'm gonna attack. Uh, with Bone Crusher, at least. Just gonna go Bone Crusher here. Okay, and then I'm just gonna get the Shelly down. I guess. Okay, I was gonna say this is a dangerous play if he has a Resplendent, but. If his last unknown is... I guess he has two unknowns. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah, that's not good for me. Not good for me. Not good for me at all. Still has these two cards. Oh boy. <sighs> yeah, I really just needed to fade that land for like one more turn. I could have obviously not played Children, but then I'm just not pressuring and I'm just gonna lose to his top decks. So I I think I played this correctly, but How do I win from here? Gets a 1-1 one, one when this dies. Gonna double block the Shieldred. Got him in a lot of trouble, man. Um, I don't know. Maybe... maybe yeah, I should have killed this a long time ago. I guess it would have... Yeah, I wonder if killing this was, was right two turns ago. Because now I think I'm going to end up killing it now anyway. But the problem is there are just so many more cards that kill this than this. There's four Fatal Pushes to draw to. But now I think I have to kill this because I can't just let him... get spirits off of blocks. So I'm going to kill this. I think I send both. If he kills Shelly, at least he loses his board. Yeah, I'm going to send both. I'm fine with a double block here on the Shelly, I think. Okay. Play a Fable. Go! I will say the cages are going to be nice. The two cages I put in my board, this is why we put them there. It will help this match up pretty significantly. So hopefully we get paid off. Okay, so he stays net even. He gains two, loses two. One from the toughness, one from the trigger, and then loses two from the Shelly. Okay. Okay.
I have to ditch this. I do not think this is a real card here. I think we really have to hit a kill spell. We're just in huge trouble. Opponent's pressuring me really well. Okay, that's pretty real. Oh. If I attack all, he would go block here. Maybe no blocks elsewhere. Take a pretty good amount of damage. Hmm. Attacking all a real play. Four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, I can go to 12 off the castle. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? So if he doesn't have an untapped land for the cave, then he might not just auto win. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Huh. Trying to figure out how to... Spot. I think I'm just going to send everybody and see what my opponent does. I can win this game. We're going to need their reconstruction to kind of suck, but I think I can win this game. They go to two here. We'll see how they play this, but I think the fatal push plus the draw off castle gain of life is really huge. I just have to hope they don't hit another life gain effect. If they don't, they'll lose. So I, I guess we put ourselves in the best position to win. Our opponent really foolish to not block with that 4-4 on something. Either the 2-2 or the 3-2. You've got to block. <clears throat> opponent trying to give us a chance. Another righteous, huh? So if I respond and kill this... So I need him to not have another two-mana angel here. If he doesn't have a two-mana angel, though, I think I win. Yeah. Oh, he could have a three-mana angel, too, couldn't he? Uh, if he has it, he has it, I guess. I can't beat it in this position, I don't think. I guess I could draw into exactly another Fatal Push off this castle. life go to one okay I'll go to one don't do it to me don't do it to me please please don't do it to me Please don't have an angel. What a nail biter. Yeah, I agree, Dewey. Please don't do it to me, opponent. Please have mercy, mano blows. I 
I mean, I don't have any idea why he's tanking. He has a reconstruction in his hand. Like, you either have an angel or you don't, dude. What a tough decision. Do I play my... Uh... Oh, he was about the trigger. That's interesting. Okay, I was a little worried about the trigger. Uh, actually, could I still win this game? He has three blocks. We'll figure it out. I need a kill spell. If I can draw a kill spell, maybe there's a chance. Oh, this happens too. Yeah. All right, I'm not going to. That's enough. We can't win game one with that. What a, what a sickening loss. Just card away. All right, well, bring in these cages, bring in these banks. I think I still want duress. These cards are all awful. Let's cut those. Bone Crusher, I still think is bad. Especially if they're boarding the way I expect them to board. I don't think so, Dewey. I think Rending Volley does what Grasp would do, but just more efficiently and is better against Mono White, too. It's not really the removal that is the thing against Angels, it's the Cocos. Especially post board when they get the four shapers, like the one for one removal plan is not particularly good. It's like fine, obviously, but I might just trim a PWK here. I'm gonna try keeping the Croxas. I don't know if I like Croxa or not, but let's uh, let's learn. I guess it might it might be good. I could see it being good. Uh, yes, Chainsaw, I do. All right, this hand is really awkward. I kind of... Hmm. Such an awkward hand. I guess I don't need to thought seize them super early. I could thought seize them later. What a strange hand. I, th I think it's a keep, certainly, but how I sequence this is going to be really interesting. I think I just have to go this on black, this on red. Play, I don't know. We'll see what we draw, I guess. I'm going to lead on castle, though. I can't really afford to play this on black with this hand. Like, Fable and Harvester are probably a little too important. Obviously, we have a Bank Buster, so, like, you know, we could get away with not having red mana for a little bit, I guess, but it's probably wrong. Okay, so he's going to play. Yep, that's fine. All right, I'm going to Thought Seize, I think. Well, actually, eh, he could play a Giada. Giada would be really annoying. It's probably not in his deck, but he could have it in his deck is the problem. Or do I just want to start drawing cards? I mean, that's... Hmm. Or start pressuring with Harvester? Played Giada, I could kill Giada, but very difficult. The problem is the thought seizes don't matter if I'm not pressuring. Like, they're just gonna draw out of it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get some heat on the opponent, and then we can convert this red mana into just a, a new draw. I think that's important here too. It's also nice opponent cannot play a bishop this turn because they had to lead on Beseju. 
So the only two drop they could have here is Giada. Or I guess they could have Youth Hole. Portable Hole. I don't care about that at all. It's fine. I'm surprised that's in their deck, to be honest. That's gonna... Okay. It's not a black source, but it does allow me to go Thoughtseize Bankbuster here. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Thoughtseize you. Let's take a peek. Okay. So they kept on the strength of Shapers. Banky boy. Go. Sure. A little annoying, but certainly beatable. Alright, uh, so we know he doesn't have a spell in his hand. Don't really think this Thoughtseize is going to be doing much anymore. Either way, play this. So that's probably getting ditched too. We're going to hold the Thoughtseize in hand for the Fable trigger. We're not going to spew our blood yet. I don't think anyway. That's pretty sweet. I almost don't even want to pitch the Croxa because I want to play it and make him discard a card. Is that reasonable? I think that is kind of reasonable. I The lands are really annoying here because... He has Cave and a Resplendent Angel, so I want to just attack his hand aggressively. Um, but I guess, like, digging the Ritual of Soot is pretty real, too. Alright, we'll pitch. I'll, I'll pitch it. Try to find, like, a Ritual of Soot type thing. But I think it was interesting. Yeah, change I think it was close. I do definitely think... There was consideration to do that. I really do. But obviously I opted against it. Okay. Uh, now what? Would I rather play Second Fable? Second Fable lets me draw a card off Bankbuster. I kind of like that the most. And it gives me a lot more mana. It feeds my Croxa too. We can just buy back Croxa next turn probably. Pretty likely, at least. Yeah, I like Second Fable, too. It's what we're going to do. I'm going to draw a card off Bankbuster first, see if we can hit an untapped land here. Duress. All right, well, that's a good thing to pitch to the Fable. Ooh. Go. <clears throat> that is true, yeah. It gets us closer to this Croxa, too, which is going to pressure them really hard. Yep. <clears throat> it also gave us a chance to try and hit the land drop. So. Because <clears throat> we got to activate the Bank Buster with this play. So we're just getting deeper in our deck, which I think is good. Really? I'm very surprised he attacked. Honestly. Does he have another play? Hey, Cal the Taoist. How's it going? How are you doing this morning? Okay. Well, let's hope they don't have a Coco. We know they have Iganjo. Iganjo is in hand. Uh, 
I definitely don't think I want duress. Am I okay with the dread boar? I kind of. Hmm. It's probably good to have the option, but. Could get rid of the third fable, although I kind of want to keep digging. But at this point, this turn might just be Shelly Dreadbore your thing. Not a Rakdos player. That Coco's a, a big worry, King. I agree. I think we just have to hope they don't have it here. They would have added. We know one of their two cards is Igonjo. If they top deck Coco, they top deck Coco. Um. So I guess if, if we're worried about the Coco right now, we're digging for Ritual of Soot then, because we could get him. So I think I'm just going to pitch the third Fable. I don't think we need third copy of this. I would like to loot more, but we've got Bank Buster. We've got Castle. We can get deep if we need to. Uh, I think the kill spell is probably good to have. In case anything goes wrong. Okay. Combat. Yeah, no, you don't. Okay. Uh, so I can go rebuy. I can go Dreadbore this, rebuy Croxa. I mean, that seems pretty good to me. He gets to draw a card, which sucks, but we get a Croxa in play. That seems good to me. And then next turn, I have Blood Tithe Harvester, Clone Harvester. We can send this in there, too. We might pitch the Igonjo. We could also just play the Shelly, but then he can pump here. If he pumps here, we take five. He gains five. It seems really poor. Yeah. Have your card. might have pitched a blood oh that's fair i forgot we could pitch the blood to be honest yeah that makes sense that may have been a little better because then he doesn't draw a card but the thing is i i feel like we kind of had to get that thing off the table i don't know if we could ra race it well fortunately all right, and he still has the Igonjo, so we still know that card. Our opponent's in huge trouble, because I can fire up the Bank Buster, too. Okay, well, Resplendent. Yeah, they're dead. This game is over. Can't even Coco me here, either, so I could kill this with Blood Tithe if I wanted to. Play this crew, attack all trigger, you take three. They can Igonjo here, block here. So I just don't let them block. I clone it, kill this, get Shieldred going too. They're very dead. Very, very dead. Gotta worry a little bit about my clock for game three, but. gonna have six and attack here don't believe he can survive I 
guess he could if he Igonjo's here. Yeah, okay. So I gotta play Shelly to win. Turned off the auto yields, so I can still play this. Yeah, Ganjo's here. Goes to one. Shouldered, he dies. Go. All right. Game three. Um. Horrible holes being in his deck is nutty. Uh, I think... I think I still pretty much want to have the same game plan, to be honest. I'm not certain if I love Duress or not. Now that I have Cages, I think it changes how much I like Duress with Cage in my deck. But... They are still just kind of the most important cards, are the the Cocos, so I think I'm still going to have them in. The only, you know, the only change I'd make is probably bring in, like, a couple more removal spells. I, I didn't see any X2s out of him that game, did I? So Bone Crusher didn't look particularly good. Yeah, I think, I think we just run it back. See if we can get him in three here. Seven and a half minutes, got to move kind of quick. Uh, yeah, we'll keep the Graph Digger's Cage hand for sure. Graph Digger's Cage Ritual. I may hide this so he can't Skyclave it. We'll see. For now, I'm going to hide it. Go. Still gonna hide it, I think. This is the turn I'll play it after turn three, so he can't go Skyclave into Coco. I'm not gonna let him have that curve. Refuse to let that curve happen here. Yep. Awful draws. Have we drawn a single spell? I don't think we have. Go. Guess I know he has Portable Hole in his deck too, which is pretty annoying. Portable Hole deals with the cage as well. I, mean, I think the card's very good in the matchup, but he has him in. It's gonna look pretty good against me for sure. It's like kind of good against the bank busters too. Oh, there's some argument for it. I just think like his Coco hit, like what are his Coco hits? He's gotta be so soft on the Coco hits. Cause if he has shapers and portable hole in his deck, that's just so many non hits. So many non hits. Sure. And then you consider he probably has eight Cocos too. I mean, that's 16 spells in his deck that can't get hit off a Coco, and then probably 24 lands. So at maximum, he probably had, you know, I don't know how many copies of all those cards he has in his deck, obviously. Dude, give me a break. So stupid. All right, sure. Got it, dude. All right, well, uh, he gets a 1-1. One -one. It's fine with me. Have a 1-1. One -one. I will also get a 1-1. One -one. Go!
Yeah, I mean, I've drawn one spell and my opponent just had a perfect hand almost. It's been sweet. Been sweet. Huh. <sighs> All right, well, one you. So freaking lucky, dude. So stupid. So stupid. All right. Well, at least he whiffed, which makes sense. His deck construction is ridiculous. Portable holes and Shaper's Sanctuary. Just crazy. Absolute insanity. Maybe I Ritual have said it too soon. The problem is with that Bishop in play. It's kind of awkward. Oh, it's definitely possible I went too soon. Dude just has a second Coco. Ooh, another ritual, huh? All right, I might hold off on that. I think the problem, yeah, I think he has another Coco. Pretty unlikely he can kill me, so Okay. No more Cocos. Interesting. Sure. Okay, now I probably just go ritual blood attack you, ritual blood tithe. Hmm. Could also just dread bore. What if I just go dread bore this and save the ritual? Is that real? <sighs> ritual just doesn't seem very good here. Or puts him up a card, which really blows. I just feel like there's a Kyla's Reconstruction over there. I'd like to be able to get those. I'm going to do this. Potentially blood here, too. I, I may blood this herb org away. I'm gonna. I'm just going to have six. Very unlikely I fatal push. I guess turn off. Eh, it's possible I would push. I think I have to save push for the caves, though. I'm just going to have six. One, I've already have six. Why are you asking? If I want to block, it's not an option. Okay, that's pretty good. It's actually perfect.
Okay. That's fine. <clears throat> I think I need to kill the Valkyrie here. Probably. That's a pretty good draw, I guess. Uh, play this. Draw. Another ritual? Wild. Um, okay. Go, probably. I'm really afraid of this caves. Uh... pass. Okay, I think I'm going to activate castle. Yeah, that's fine. Probably. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, killing my opponent is going to be a real, real task for me. Put that in tapped. Even if I can get out of this, which I'm not really sure, sure if I can at this point. Yep. Puts me to one. I can't use castle. It's a good play. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. Oh, it's really tilting. Them having the frickin' apparition. Their hand was just so perfect. That's such a ridiculous hand. Especially for how bad our hand was. Like, we kept a four lander. I drew four lands in the next five cards or some crap. Like, so rough. Even without good their hand was, if we would have drawn, if we would have like been able to draw spells, like a Thought Caesar to rest instead of a bunch of lands would have been just so, so good.
So really any spells at all in the early game would have been spectacular. Just put me too far behind. It's like, imagine if I draw a Blood Tithe or a Bank Buster that game, our opponent probably Skyclaves it. And then they don't have the Skyclave for the cage. Like... Or I could have drawn Thoughtseize and ripped the Skyclave. Oh well. What can you do? Death Taxes and Dykeman playing black cards. Sorry, Mitch, I just saw that. Yep. Yep, pretty common. <clears throat> but yeah, Chainsaw, to answer your question more, yeah, I, I don't think Extinction Event is really better against much of anything right now, so that's why I've moved to 3 Ritual now. I think it's like just better against White, and I think it's just better against Angels, and those are the real matchups where I want the Sweeper anyway. Um, Mono Green is way down in popularity. I don't even think that deck is particularly good anymore, to be honest. Um... And Misery Shadow changed how that matchup works a lot anyway. You just don't need Extinction Event against Green anymore because you're already exiling all their stuff because of Shadow. Obviously, we're only on two, so, like, you know, the games where you don't draw Shadow is unfortunate. But... against Grohl here. I'm going to keep this. Last time this guy plays 28 days ago, so we'll see if he's still on Grohl. Looks like it. Yep. Okay, that was a nice draw. Basic Swamp there was good. Good. Give me a thought, Seize. What in the heck is this deck? What am I playing against? Uh, I mean, I think I take the Ajani, as wild as that is. And the Johnny's going to kind of be an issue. I don't really care about the other stuff at all. So I'm just taking the card that will give me problems. That one definitely gives me the most issues down the line, I think. Opponent's playing a very unique deck here. So, okay. Yeah. Um, probably just, yeah, just definitely playing this as a land here. Play Blood Tithe. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. I'll take two. Mm -hmm. So important to remember my land is going to enter tapped here no matter what. Really, no Arcan? So you double. I see. Is Arcan I Ganjo in hand? So his hand is awful. That's the good news. Uh, I could just go kill your Thalia, play a Fable, like, kind of like that. Kill with Blood Tithe, and then get Fable down. Alternatively, we could just start beating our opponent down. We'll just go attack you for three, play another one of these, play a Tap Land. I think that's also pretty reasonable. Could also just stomp the Thalia. Stomp thought like play Blight Step on black. Stomp your Thalia. Attack for three. 
That seems okay too, actually. Don't completely hate that. That might be better, because then I threaten just playing a 4-3 next turn. We don't have to play the... I mean, my hand is good. I like all my cards, so... I don't know that we need to play the Fable necessarily yet. And I like getting him under a little bit of pressure. The Fable doesn't really pressure him at all, because he plays a 2-3, and then you know I can attack and kind of 2-for-1 myself a little bit. Which isn't particularly exciting. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with the Kill Thalia line. That's good or not, but that's what we're going to go with. Go ahead. <coughs> okay, so I know he has Iganjo. Sure. Probably just going to attack for three, play a Bone Crusher here more than likely. Could play a Fable too, depending, but... I guess Fable here is pretty good, honestly. Also, I suppose, kill the Arkan, but I think I'm winning the race. Let's see if he blocks. He might block. I think him blocking is good for me, so. Get this bad boy rolling. Let's go. I could just fire up a huge lair here. But I think that's okay with me. Sure, plays the Iganjo. It's firing up a gigantic lair. I think I'm just going to take seven. I think I want the 2 2. Could obviously chump block. But I don't know if that's necessary. I don't feel like it is necessary. I'm going to take it. I want the mana acceleration. That was a nice draw to pitch to Fable. Uh, I don't feel like I really need a second Fable. I'm going to pitch it. So I can go play this, kill this Bone Crusher, pitch it for two. attack you go <clears throat> sure it's firing up a giant oh, okay plays another Arkan sure
fire up a pretty big layer now. Is that 3-3? Three, three? I can fire it up as a 3-3. Three, three. I don't really care about a 3-3. Three, three. I can just send a Bone Crusher into a 3-3 three, three pretty easily. I can also fire up Den pretty reasonably here. I don't even necessarily hate the Shaman attacking because of Stomp. Uh, I could also just get a Croxa back into play here because of the blood. So that's interesting to think about, too. I guess maybe the play, then, is just kill kill this. Kill this, get Croxa into play, hit you... Yeah, and then I still get to stomp here too. Yeah, I like that. All right, let's kill this. I like where this puts me a lot. I'll attack with both. He'll fire up the lair, block the 2-2. I'll stomp the lair. And then I can Crocs him. Seems quite good. Play this. Use blood. Croxa. Like our spot. Like our spot. Coco off the top could maybe do some filthy things, but Skyclave Apparition would be annoying. But I think the, the Graveyard Trespasser, Clone Trespasser attack is going to be really devastating too. So, Okay, well, I think they're playing a Coco deck, very likely. Ritual of Soot, probably good. Shadow, probably bad. Croxa, probably not particularly good. Cage, probably good. I mean, I haven't seen Coco yet, but there's just... No way, it's not in their deck. Probably similar to how I board against Angels, I think. Probably a very similar game plan. I don't think I'm going to bring in Duress against this version. Because I don't know if they're playing Kyla's Reconstruction or not. But they're definitely a collected company deck. I've seen a Johnny out of them, too. Johnny's really interesting. Is Rending Volley any good? Rending Volley's still good, too, I think. A little different than against Angels because we cut Bone Crusher against Angels. Might just have two banks, two bank busters. Uh, question is, is Rending Volley actually good? I mean, it deals with Thalia, it deals with Arkan, probably deals with some other obscure cards that I'm not thinking of. We'll have it in the deck. Deals with Skyclave. I'm just going to have two banks on the draw, and then on the play, maybe I would have another one in. Maybe 
see going down like a shieldred or something for the third bank, but now we're going to keep and sweet. So funny enough, I'm going to lead this on red because of Arkan making my lands enter untapped. So this will be the first land I play, and it's going to be on red. Okay. Well, now I can't Arkan me yet anyway, but I'd still rather just get these out of my hand. It's going to be very awkward if I draw, like, Den into Mountain, but I still think it's right to just get the get the non-basics out of my hand immediately. Okay. Okay, deck. Let's, uh, I would like a land, please. Would like a land, please. Really good. Okay. It's only while that's alive. Probably has to... I don't know what he takes. He knows about the ritual now, which is pretty tilting. He might name Fable, too, because Fable's just such a good play for me here. But Dreadboar, yeah, that makes sense as well. Good stomp face, but I think that's a spew. What a joke. What a joke. Keep a two lander on the draw. Don't hit third land drop. Okay. Classic. Go. Adeline. Not expect an Adeline, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, just more misses on lands. Oh. I can't cast Dreadbore. Could play this, but this does, doesn't do anything. You can block, maybe. I just need to try to draw to lands, because I think Ritual of Soot is like the only way out of this game. If I miss a land, let's go to game three, I guess. Okay, hit a land. It's a start. It is a start. Go ahead. Pitch a bone crusher, I think. Go. A lot of ways I could lose this game. Peacekeeper, Thalia. Yeah. yeah. Right on time. Right on time with these lands. <sighs> yeah. Alright. Okie dokie. Well, deck's a little different than I thought it was. 
I still feel like they're probably a Coco deck, but we haven't seen it, so I guess I'm going to treat them more like just classic mono white with how I'm boarding. try that again. What's up, dude? It certainly is. It certainly is. I lost to Angels in round one, and then we're in game three against some green-white pile of things here. I assume the Coco's got to be there, but I'm just, I'm not going to have Cage in my deck. We, it's, we don't need Cage to beat Coco, and they only have four, I assume. They're probably not like Angels with eight. I think the cages are pretty pretty necessary when you think they have eight, though. I assume the Coco probably has to be there, but, like, there are Thal... I guess you play Thalia anyway. I don't know. We're just going to treat them more like Mono White. But, yes, they are probably... Okay, so that's... Interesting. I think I just go Stomp this, and then next turn I go... Land thought sees blood tie to you. Yeah, let's get that elf out of here. Okay. Well, we can use this Thalia to make sure we're not getting hit by a company anytime soon. So this is kind of odd. I'm going to shock myself and play Bone Crusher here. That way I can play Shelly through an Arkan next turn, which they definitely might have. Um, here's just, I think, a pretty reasonable Bone Crusher turn. But I'm going to play around the Arkan. Okay. Well, I feel like they have a Coco. I'm going to Thought Seize them. Just so... I mean, they need a fifth land as well, obviously. But Thought Seize Harvester seems reasonable. I would hate to go Shelly and then they, like, Coco into Skyclave and such. I think I'm fine to just give them the old Thought Seize. Okay, they have Coco, they have Sky, they have all these things that annoy me. Yep, makes sense. Uh, so I just take that Coco, I think. Play this. Go. See if we can get them to spew that Skyclave on this Bone Crusher Giant. And then we can just sh shelly them out of the game, hopefully. Looks like they're going to do it, too. Hopefully they didn't draw a second copy or another Coco, but if they did, they did. Okay. I definitely trade with the Ooze here, I think. Yeah. Trade with that bad boy. <coughs> sure. Uh, maybe. It's possible. Yeah. Go for the throat. And th the problem is go for the throat doesn't kill Sky Sob, so you're... But with Mono Green so far on the down tick, it kind of makes sense. It's just going to make you worse against Grohl, but Grohl's, Grohl's one of your worst matchups anyway. Grohl and Angel... It's so awkward because Grohl and Angels are both, like, pretty bad matchups for this deck, I think. So you're helping slightly one bad matchup to make one slightly better matchup worse, which... Is probably bad. 
I think Angels is one of the deck's harder matchups, honestly. Angels, Enigmatic, Fires. The way I have my deck constructed right now, I don't really want to run into Phoenix. I think I play this land. Shelly. Peacekeeper's fine. That is A-OK -okay with me. Assume he probably names Power Word Kill, but... Yep, yeah, that's fine. I'll spend five mana to kill a Skyclave and get a 3-3. Three, three. That's a pretty good deal for me. I think my hand is good. We're going to keep it for now. Okay, that's actually a good draw there. So play this. I still can't. What I can do, I guess, that may be worth it, I could just play Harvester and use Castle now. Yeah, I was on three event two for a while, and then I went to one ritual and two event. Honestly, I just don't get why why even play event right now. Like, Misery Shat, green is, like, disappearing, because it's just not good uh, at the moment at all. And without, like, with Misery Shadow, you didn't need Extinction Event as badly versus green anyway. What's up, Go Nub? How's it going? Uh, I think I'm going to play Harvester here and draw a card instead of PWK, but... I don't know, PWK here is really tempting. I'm honestly a little tempted, this is kind of crazy, to kill the Llanowar Elves so he can't Coco me. We know he has a Knight of Autumn. This isn't doing anything. I don't really want land to unlock Coco. I am a little afraid of that, but... Probably playing a little too scared. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna pass, actually. Let's just PWK this Skyclave and get a 3-3. Get a three, three. Seems pretty hard to pass up. Okay, that means he doesn't have Coco in his hand at least. Thalia, Heretic, Cathar. This guy's deck is bizarre. I should have probably killed the Skyclave in response, but it's not relevant, I don't think. Kill this. I even want to kill the Skyclave anymore. Probably the 3 3 is still pretty real, I think. This is a spot where I'm really tempted to kill the elf. Really tempted, but. That's a good draw. Now I am going to kill the elf immediately. This way, he cannot top deck and play a Coco. He could suicide his Thalia, but that'll be a giveaway. Yep. Honestly, maybe I'm supposed to play Blood Tide there instead of the Bone Crusher because. It acts as a removal spell, and it also empties my hand for castle. A little mana inefficient, though. I think this is fine. Another anointed peacekeeper. Okay. This guy's deck's really annoying, but it seems kind of kind of awful. Okay. Play this guy. What did he name? Oh, he named Castle. It's annoying of him. Good play, but annoying. Uh, start blooding stuff away, but I think it's better to just play this tapped and say go. Take two. Well, 
blows up a blood. <clears throat> I think he's supposed to blow up a blood. I think that's certainly better than counters there. Yep, that is what he did. That's fine with me. Okay, it's a nice little draw there. All right. I think it's about time we start getting these first strikers off the board so I can start making attacks, probably. I can send in the 3-3 three, three and the Bone Crusher. Not going to offer the trade on Shelly. And then I'm going to throw the Blood Tithe at the Elf here so he can't Coco me off the top. He could throw away his Thalia, but I doubt he'll do that. I think he's just going to go trade, trade on Anointed, but that's a good deal for me too. What? Oh, he's going to trade. What? You double block, right? Why wouldn't you double block? Okay. Yeah, all that kind of makes sense, but now I don't have to throw this away, so that's great. Fine with all that. Um, go. Johnny. Okay. Okay. So, got a brush land on top. I think he put that on the bottom. Okay, so now... Alright, so the play is this. Kill this. Fire this up. This at the Ajani, this at you. Eat whatever, eat a news, I guess. He has to block or he's dead. No board for him anymore. He could hit a Coco off the top, but even a Coco off the top, he's in trouble because I have two man lands and a castle and I'm at 24. All right, great. Okay, one and one. That was a really odd deck our opponent was playing there. Very strange. The Johnny Sleeper Agent Coco Green White Pile of Creatures. Strange. Strange, strange, strange. I will give that deck one thing. Probably very good against Lotus. You want to talk about an annoying deck against Lotus Field. Thalia, Archon, Anointed Peacekeeper. I'd be pretty tilted if I ran into that on Lotus, honestly. Might be okay against Phoenix, too. It can definitely win games against Rakdos, because, I mean, it's a Coco deck, but the Ajani's are kind of nutty. I think Lotus is really good. Um, I think it does a really good job of beating up on 
a lot of the decks in the format. I don't think you're favored versus Rakdos. I think that's about 50-50. But, I mean, from week to... It really depends how the Rakdos player has their sideboard constructed, too. Like, my my board at the event this weekend was very ready for Lotus. Double Pithing Needle, three Duress is... I mean, that's really good against Lotus, obviously. But a lot of Rakdos players aren't going to have that many tools. And even I'm... Like, I'm down on two of those today, right? So, like, my Lotus matchup would be considerably worse today than it is typically. Is there, like, an instant speed blacks or red spell that does, like, what Hollowed Moonlight and Graph Digger's Cage do? Does that card exist? If there's a card that does that, I would like to just play that. Is the white deck too fast for you? I don't know. That'd probably be a better question for Ray. It's obviously a race. I, did, I assume the white deck, if they win the die roll and turn two Thalia, you're in big trouble. That's just my guess. Yeah, that matchup's got to be rough. I've been I've been thinking about playing mono white with four containment priests in my board for angels, because the angels matchup is really bad for mono white. Okay, Gonub says it's not that bad. Fair enough. That's fair, Key. That makes sense, yeah. Yeah. Nub, you think the Lotus matchup is favored for Rakdos? I think I might agree with that. I've beaten it like the last five or six times I've played it. And I've been playing pretty good players too. Like my opponents are not idiots. They know what they're doing. Like there's a, there's a difference between beating a Lotus player who doesn't know what the hell they're doing and then beating somebody who knows what they're doing. And Oh, fair. Well, I've won like my last five against Lotus with Rakdos, and they've been in challenges, prelims, and uh, my RCQ opponent was, was good this weekend, so. Yeah, it is. It is, for sure. Three matches left. All right, chat. I think we're going to do a vintage cube draft while we wait. Might as well. Why not?
All right, we're in. What do we got? All right, I haven't gotten to play Shieldred very much in this cube. I think I'm just snapping this card off. It may, it's probably not the best card in the pack at all. Upheaval. Upheaval or Repelos almost certainly are the best cards in this pack. But I want to play with Shieldred. My goodness. I haven't played with this in the cube yet. And this card is nice. Also, I'm kind of feeling mono black. I'm not going to lie. We could, Oh, buddy. Dark Confidant? Probably wheels, to be fair. I don't know why I'm feeling mono black. I, I haven't built a like mono black mid range deck in this cube yet. It's always a fun one. Dark Confidant has to wheel, right? There's no way it doesn't. Hmm. We could play blue black. That's probably a good idea with Shieldred. You think someone's gonna take Dark Confidant? They usually go pretty late. It is a good board card. I do agree. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. You could also take Stowaway. Stowaway is a very good card and also good with Shieldred. Just be blue-black. I'm going to take Stowaway. Hope to wield our Confidant. Blue-black is probably what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, Misty Rainforest, probably a good pick. Fatal Push would be good, too. Between Fatal Push and Misty. Hmm. I'm going to take Fatal Push. I don't know if I'm going to be blue yet. Probably will be blue, but... Hmm. Got some cool stuff going on here. Um... Byrexian Revoker, I'm a big fan of. Recurring Nightmare is a really messed up card. This could be a good start to a Nightmare deck. Deluge is very good, too. I'd take Deluge. Ooh, okay. Well, I like making my deck smaller. I think I'm going to take Jataxian Probe here. Mesmeric Fiend to be a good wheel if it comes back. Phantasmal Image is a really messed up card. Cake Man's a really good card, too, if I wanted to potentially move into red. I think Image is a really, really powerful magic card. Let's take this. Still not 100% playing blue, but I think I will be. Oh. Ooh, I'm a big fan of crit breaking. There's also a Luris here. Just playing Luris in our deck is like not that egregious at all, actually. I'm really upset Crit Breaker is in the same pack as Luris. Because Crit Breaker always goes so late. I don't it's possible I could wheel this? Unlikely. Crit Breaker could let me be a reanimator deck, too. Although I really don't want to play reanimator. I kind of want to play more of like a mid range deck. Alright, I'm going to take the Crit Breaker. Alright, Shriek Maw. Uh, 
I'm gonna take the Badlands in case we see like a Wheel of Fortune or whatever with this Shieldred that could be really cool. command in the vintage cube a lot of stupid artifacts that blowing up is nice I think that was the dark confidant pack as well so unfortunately Mitch you were correct that dark confidant was not coming back the ninjutsu card does this do anything not really just take a past in flames just in case this ends up being a real card. I doubt it though. Uh, not a big fan of this so far. Okay, Revoker comes back. Could just backdoor into Mono White. That's always a plan. That's fair. I haven't taken Bob all year, personally. I love Bob, too. I'm a big Dark Confidant guy, but it's not been a thing for me yet this year. So I was hoping this would be the time. Last pick Hellrider, huh? That is sickening. That is actually disgusting. The level of disrespect that it takes for a Hellrider to go last pick in the first pack of a draft. Holy. It almost just makes me want to backdoor into mono red. You're a big fan of Bob's too, Ventus. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Luda Delta would be good if we stay on the blue black thing. I kind of want to move into red black. I'm I'm not going to lie. We could we could easily move into red black. If red's going to be that freaking open, like that's unbelievable. I might take Mox Diamond. Fast mana is just really powerful. I'm going to take a diamond. I think Dismember is good too. Already got Fatal Push, Mizium Mortars, Deluge. This deck might end up being something different than I initially thought it was going to be. That's for sure. We'll see. Uh, Skyclave Shade is interesting. Preordain if we ended up being blue still. Underground C. Could also just play Grixis, I guess. It's like not out of the question at all. I'm going to take an underground C. All right. This pack is just actually all good cards. There's just not a single card in here I don't want to play. Almost. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'd be happy with eight of these cards. Uh. I assume Baleful Wheels. This card usually does wheel, so we'll probably get that one back. Karn is pretty generically good. Could take another dual land just to have better mana, although I don't know that I'm going to splash for Mortars or Hellrider. Like, that's not even something I know I'm going to do yet. I'm just going to take Karn. It's generically good. Same with Batter Skull, also just generically a good card. Snuff out versus consider. Hmm. I think I'm going to take snuff. Although 
although consistency obviously pretty nice, but free removal spells also pretty nice. Okay, there's a JVP. I think we're gonna commit to blue. Finally gonna commit to blue. Is this a reasonable breach deck? I mean, I'm gonna. It's really, I guess, treachery's messed up. Yeah, treachery's really messed up. Never mind. Let's take this. Bitter Blossom, Dig Through Time. Actually, a pretty good Dig Through Time deck. All right. We're just going to be like a blue-black mid-range pile. Out. Why? Oh, there we go, I see. Let's drag all these over here. Oh, Echo of Eons with that Shieldred. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I don't know that we're gonna do that, but that is something we could do. Certainly interested in thinking about it at least. Snuff out basically a zero. I'm going to take Dismember, I think, especially with the JVP and the Dig Through Time. We just want early spells. Oh, our match started. Gosh dang it. All right. Uh, Ledger Shredder's cool. Let's take this. Uh, evolve Sleeper's sweet, too. We already have one Sweeper. I don't think I need two. Let's just take another card advantage creature. I'm into that. Our deck honestly looks kind of cool. I'm, I'm excited for this. Let's head over here. We're playing against Bob the Dog. He's probably on control. I'm going to keep this. I think that's Nassif, right? Pretty sure Bob the Dog's Nassif. Pretty happy with this hand against Nassif. Did I miss a Narset or are you saying we want a Narset? Uh, memory Jar is actually really messed up with Shielder 2. Yorion is going to try finishing this pack. Head back over here to Nassif. Okay. I wonder if he's streaming right now, too. Obviously not going to go look or anything, but I'm just curious. Mostly. Yeah, Narset would be great. I agree with that. All right, Cryptic Command, sick. Deluge is sick. Oko's broken. Oko's really broken. We could just splash for Oko. Try to splash for Oko. Is that worth it, or do I just... Do I just be disciplined? I probably just want to be disciplined and take the frickin' Deluge. It's probably a much smarter pick. I'm going to take Deluge this deep in the draft. Oko's a great card, but I'm not trying to worry about my mana right now. Miscalc's really good. I'm going to take that. All right, let's head back over here. He played Glacial Fortress on one. I'm going to Thought Seize him. See, oh, is he playing... What is this? Com All right. Well, we're going to take the Nar set, I believe. Yeah, definitely the Nar set here. Is, this, is he playing Kahira? He must be, right? Yeah, okay. Okay. Black. Play this. Go. What do we got going on over here? Nothing right now. Okay. Karn's going to end up making the cut too, I think. Portable hole, my guy. You got it. Uh, Trespasser or Giant? Giant hits harder, so... I think Trespasser's a better card, and it also will hit him hard if... Yeah, I'm going to... It's a little awkward to have to play that on black, but... I think that's correct here. Oh, he has a sensor too. It's really tilting top deck there from him. Oh well. Let's 
go back over here. Oh, Mind Twist, huh? And an Ancient Tomb and a Watery Grave. Dude, why do all my good cards have to be in the same pack? I mean, I'm taking Mind Twist. This card is ridiculous, but uh, him to Turok is also going in my deck. All right, so I know he has... I mean, I think I just get the Shieldred going. He has a Hengegate Pathway and one Unknown. I shouldn't have exited out. He has one Unknown card in his hand. I'm playing this. Deluge. Oh, it's an Absorb. All right. Okay. Okay. I can just cast this. Go. Oh god, we got a Sun Titan over something. That's kind of annoying. Uh, Trespasser is a good card. Let's just take this. Uh, Foth is busted. Skydivers. Oh, Custody Lich. I'm going to take Lich. This card's sick. Okay, the Kahira is in play. I'm going to Fade will push this, pretty sure. Pitching Fade will push. No, probably Power would kill. Push will deal with this better later. Play this, attack you for four. <sighs> Bang. Survive Trium. None of the other cards are good. Take that. Inquisition is sweet. Her deck ended up being really cool. Gotta say. Very, very cool. Verdicted me, yep. Just gonna cast this. Go. Cycle sensor makes sense. Combat for you. Just kind of need to hope he doesn't have Wandering Emperor, Deluge. Those are like two real bad ones for me here. Okay. Try to cast this, I think. Play the hive, go. I think I just saved Fatal Push for the man land, but he could put something else in the way that would make me change my mind. I'm gonna start focusing on this and not on that draft. I think our draft we did pretty good with, so. Um, do I fire this up? Probably because I drew another man land, right? That makes pretty good sense. The only concern is if he drew a shark typhoon concern is if he drew a shark typhoon wandering emperor is always going to be kind of bad for me in this spot but i kind of like making his counter spells suck clearly doesn't have a verdict he would have played it wandering emperor who knows but i'm gonna do this Um, we'll eat the Nar 
set, I guess. God, he did have a typhoon. Sick. It's freaking disgusting. I suppose I don't think. Am I supposed to play around that there? I don't feel like I am, but. Okay, for told card, probably the draw spell, I assume. Ooh, that that's a really messed up draw right here, actually. So I can go fatal push this and then blood this into the yard, play it. That's fair, Key. That's fair. That is that is true. That is true. It is more likely there's an Emperor in that spot. Okay, do this. Saw it coming. You saw that coming. Okay. Um, hmm. I think I just want to get a Croxa into play on him. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, that'll be good later. I'm not doing it now. Croxa. No way. Okay, sure. Um... If I don't attack now, I'm just never getting this stupid thing off the board. Yeah, I'm going to attack. The problem the problem is I don't want his hall to be able to get this, so I think that attack makes sense. This also allows me to Croxa him again, which I think is good. Days undoing. Wow. Okay. That's interesting. Um, I didn't know he was doing that. It's kind of cool. Guess it makes sense if he has Narset to be doing that, though. Play a Shadow. Play a Trespasser. Leave up Stomp. I think I like that the best. I don't want to give up Fable into a counter spell yet. Not a fan of that. Not a fan of that. Don't really want to fire up a Manland into a Wandering Emperor, so I think this makes sense. Okay, he's going to use a counter. Seems so oh, he's cycling sensor. Okay. Trying to find the Absorb, I guess. Maybe he already has it, but. Okay. This. I'm glad I ate Narset with the Trespasser earlier. That was good. And I also ate a lot of garbage cards with Croxa. I think I may have eaten a Thoughtseize, though. It's a little awkward, but oh well. Four 
portable hole my shadow. Okay. That's rude of you. Very rude of you, Nasif. Not a fan, man. Gyre Reach. Okay. I think I go for a stomp here. Maybe it's a little early, though. I kind of want to use my mana, though. If he counters it, I don't really care, to be honest. Okay. That's a nice one. That is a nice one. He probably has a Wandering Emperor, but... Hmm. How do we want to play this? How do I want to play this? I start by attacking with Trespasser and go like Bone Crusher Shieldred after that, potentially. Huh. March. Okay. Okay. I'm going to make him have the counter. Oh, he can't even cast Absorb here either. That's kind of big. Uh, do I want to play the tap land or the untap land? Play around sensor? Could play around sensor. Well, I feel like if he has sensor, he would have cycled it already, but maybe that's not true. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I guess nine. Does nine mana matter? It doesn't. Yeah, we'll play around it. I think playing around it makes sense. It also leaves up a blood, which I think is probably good here too to be honest i think he's gonna gyre reach right this feels like a gyre reach activation desperation from him a little bit um is fatal push any good not really right i think we pitch pitch this go Thinking about if he wants to march again or go to four. Going to four is pretty bad for him. Puts him in range of stomps. These man lands are, are a big nuisance at that point. It's awkward to have to use a march on the Shelly, though, because of the den. The den is, like, really pressuring him now. Pretty good about our spot. He's really in the tank here, so that's got to be good for me. Hopefully. I hope that's good for me. He definitely has a lot to think about. He's at four. He has a lot of problems to deal with here. 
Okay. Oh, that's gas for me. Okay. I think I blood away the hive. So, what happens if I do this? Fire up Den, attack all. He can go Wandering Emperor, eat this. He can go block here, go to two, and he's dead to stomp if he doesn't have anything. Could have Stomp plus Veto, or he could have Emperor plus Veto. That would be kind of a pain. What if I just send these two? Attack both. It's kind of the same thing. Let's fire this up. I'm going to send it all. Okay. Could just play another Shelly. That plays around uh, Veto better, and I feel like Sensor would have already been cycled. I think I'm going to do that. Go. Oh, he's got a march too. Savage. What a game. This has been a great game of magic. Oh, Ottawara. Sure. Okay. Probably makes a 2-2. Two -two. Fire this up, attack all at him, still have this to replay. Okay. We're having a real battle here. Keep trying to play this around Veto, if I can help it. Veto and Absorb. I want to lose to those, particularly. Day's undoing me again. Okay. I think he's dead now. That was nice of him to not eat more of my clock. I appreciate that. Okay, command's fine here. Bank busters. Go blank may be fine. Hitting needle may be fine. Um, cards that are bad. Power word kill. Fatal push. All right, the go blank I might not be into. It's either the gold blank or the needle, but you don't think K Command's good here? I kind of like that K Command can hit Portable Hole to unlock my Bankbuster or Croxa, because he's gonna keep Portable Holes in. They deal with Bankbuster, they deal with Croxa, they deal with Harvester, they deal with Shadow. Um, I think it's better. Like, it, I think it's better than gold blank. I guess is what I'm trying to get at here. No, it's very live, I think, yeah. yeah. It could also kill a Narset, right? Which could matter. You can, like, a Narset at one, he tries to daze undoing, and then I pop the Narset off the board. I think it kind of kind of matters. I think Needle on Narset's kind of real in this matchup, too, huh? Yeah, definitely want the Needle. I think we just want to run it like this. Pretty happy with this build.
Prob want volley? Really? Volley can't hit walkers. I don't think. Pretty sure it's only, yeah, I think volley's only creatures. There is one that hits walkers, but it's two mana. Uh, fry, I think you're thinking of Fry. I don't think this hand's good enough. I think this hand is too slow. No two drop, no one mana hand hate. Yeah, I can do better than this. I'm gonna mull that. Uh, yeah, we're keeping this. We're gonna get rid of probably one of the fables here. Okay. Duress. Veto hole to fairy. <coughs> to fairy is eventually going to be a problem, but like, I can play around this veto pretty easily in the hole. I'm going to take the to fairy. It's the best card in his hand by a lot. Just trespasser him. On three, hopefully. Play this, go. It's actually a nice draw. Very good if we get another black source, especially. Don't do it to me, man. Savage. Savage. Play the castle. Yep. Uh, I'm just gonna play that and play a Shelly, I think. Could play the Bone Crusher, but I'm not gonna play Afraid of Sensor. If he drew a Sensor, he drew a Sensor. Okay. A little bit disgusting his draw steps here. Been pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, Thoughtseize is kind of nice. Thoughtseize might get vetoed. I don't really care if it does. Then he's not activating Castle. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna take the veto and play a Fable. I think. Could also just play Bone Crusher, I guess, that gets the most pressure on the board. Means he can't portable hold the token away. I'm actually gonna do that. I like getting pressure that he can't remove. Makes his Narset a lot less of a problem. If he Narsets me. Okay, combat. Needs to be on black so I can activate castle. I do think I'm gonna fable. Fable. Okay, go. Well, now I can use that hole, but doesn't get to activate castle another turn cycle so kind of good my shark typhoon no nope, activate castle again sure it's fine with me should probably pay attention to what he's doing with these or show game log two bottom okay okay here comes portable hole in the shaman Told. Okay, might be a sod coming, but it's fine. Okay, I'm not gonna pitch either of these. These are insane. Uh, combat. Attack you. I think the bank buster is actually 
little better than the Fables, so I'm going to lead on Fable here. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to play both. Curious what is for to oh, it's just the draw spells, sure. Yeah, we'll hold the multiverse. Yep, that's fine with me. Nice thing is he's kind of in a position where he like needs to sweep the board now, but then he won't get either of my fables. Yeah, no, I, I know what happens. They play it. They play like a one of. I'm aware it's there. Okay, a cycling sensor. That's pretty good for me, I think. Shark Typhoon. Okay. Okay. He has a Typhoon in hand. Typhoon in hand. Okay. Oh, he's debating if he wants to hit the Bank Buster. Sure. But this is exactly why we brought in the K Command for spots like this. I mean, just how good would it be here? Ooh, Pithing Needle. Okay. Uh, I don't... Is that even good? Oh, I can name Shark Typhoon, right? He can't cycle Shark Typhoon if I Needle Typhoon. That actually seems real good here. Why is this island over by his portable holes? Eh, whatever. Alright, uh... So... Shark Typhoon. We're going to kill the Narset. Put him to 10. Probably activate... Uh, yeah, activate Castle. Oh, I can't... I'm so stupid. God damn it. Ah, it's so stupid. Just playing too quick. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. That was just me playing too quick. Down a card. It's really unfortunate, but... Shark Typhoon's not doing him much. That's the good news. But being down a card here really blows. Gonna verdict me. Can't hard cast Typhoon. He would die really know very much about his hand. I guess he could pick up Kahira, play Kahira here. It's like a real thing. Narset. That's disgusting. Uh, if he days undoings, though, he's dead. So he actually can't do the days thing here, at least. March. Okay. Interesting. This is a tough spot, man. A really tough spot. I know he has Typhoon March Unknown. What if I just clone here, send clone at Narset, the other two at him? That's what I'm going to go with. I don't know if that's right or not, but that's what we're going to do. If he has March here, he has to two for one himself. Okay. Okay. 
guy. Narset, you. Then I can activate castles. There's no reason to do it now. Okay, go. Nice. All right. Just beating his seat. Let's go. Let's go. That's a nice win. It's a nice win. All right, well, two and one. One second here, chat. One second here. All right. Um, I am going to go. All right. Sounds good, Key. I'm going to go get some water real quick while we're waiting. And I'll be back. Okay, chat, I'm back. Let's go ahead and make our vintage cube deck here. Get these white cards out of here that got auto drafted. Don't think our deck looks too bad, though, to be honest. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Nissa. Okay, a lot of auto drafts here. All right. Shriek Maw is a two drop. Let's get that in the two slot. Dismember is a one. Okay. So at this point, all our cards look playable. They look pretty good. What do we want? What do we not want? And Diamond is effectively a land, kind of. So. We need at least 15 lands, and then we probably... I might want to play 17 in a diamond, but we'll see.
let's see. So, Evolved Sleeper, probably the most medium card. Ledger Shredder is actually not very good either. I think I'm going to cut the Ledger Shredder. Um, and then... What else? Kind of want to cut one more card. That's kind of close. That is kind of close. As to what I want to get rid of. Might just be the Karn. Karn's a little slow and clunky. We could board it in when it seems good. I kind of like that. I'm going to do this, and we'll add some basics and call it a day. We are a little heavier on black than blue, so that makes sense. All right, this will be our deck when we uh, eventually get back to this. Well, that was a fun round. Playing against players of that caliber is always fun. All right, round four starting soon. See if we can get another free one here. We've had a, a lot of free one prelims on the stream, which is good. You know, I'll take three ones. I would like four O's here and there. And we did get a four O once with Angels, so that was pretty cool. But I am happy to continually three one these things. Jacob, thank you very much. Appreciate it, man. All righty. 
Round four. Here we go. That is not a good hand. Uh, I need to have my gallbladder removed. So. That is what's going on. Um, I don't really want to go to five. So I think I'm going to keep this, but this hand is atrocious if they're not a creature deck. I think we just have to gamble and keep. Yeah, I'm going to keep it. We'll see what's happening here. I'm going to bottom a Blood Crypt. Yeah, if they're not a creature deck, probably like auto lose, but that's okay. All right, they're a creature deck, so this hand's very good. I just want to kill this right away. I'm going to take a lot of damage if I don't. Not even going to think twice about it. Just kill your guy. Go. My hand was so flush with removal that I definitely think this is the right way to go about it. Now we push this. Play this. Dreadbore for the Adeline. I'd really like a three drop creature here. <sighs> three drop creature here. Or Fable. Just a threat. Just like a threat. That'd be nice. Yeah, perfect. That is exactly what I wanted. Fable? A little awkward if he has, um, Brutal Cathar, I guess, but still not that bad. Okay. I could be a Greed Lord and pitch the Airborg. Part of me wants to, but I think it's a terrible... <laughs> Yeah, there's just no way that's right. I'm going to pitch one of these. And I'm going to keep everything else. Pitching the Urborg is just so freaking greedy. Well, let's hope he doesn't have another Brutal Cathar. That would blow. Now I can thought seize the brave. That's sick. What you got over there, friend? You got a brave? Double brave. Okay. That's pretty annoying. Uh, I think I just play another fable then. There's no reason to play a dread boar into a brave the elements, I don't think, at all. So. Play this, go. And now if I do it, he can't activate castle, so that's good. I'm not going to pitch anything. This hand is nice. Oh, you know what I could do here? The Brute is red, so I could just kill the Brute. Could kill the Brute, attack with this. If he makes a token, I get to kill the Adeline. Kind of real. That makes sense to me.
awkward thing is I I need to upkeep it because I don't want it to go back to day. Oh, you know what I can do? I can just do this. Why don't I just do this? Clone this. Attack for two. And I've got to stop on his upkeep so I can push on the upkeep here. Sack the treasure, push. Yep. Got it. Well, that doesn't work because he still has Brave. What am I doing? Uh, maybe I do make it day again? Yeah, making it day again is probably acceptable. Just a little annoying, but very beatable. daytime but I think the reflection is gonna put him in a really bad spot okay okay now we can rip the day whenever we choose. also just make a bunch of reflections on his end step so I guess that's what I'm supposed to do this attack's pretty free as well okay so he makes six reflections here All right, cool. Game two. All right, so I need to kind of reassess what our plan should be post board. Because yesterday, I mean, we were two and one against White, but that last match, the post board game has kind of played out a little awkwardly. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, Magic has a lot of really stupid cards now. Shieldred, Adeline, Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Anything in Modern Horizons 2. If you've looked at Modern, Modern's just like all Modern Horizons 2 cards. Trim a trespasser, maybe. Yeah, tons of good cards, no question about that. It's possible I have one too many kill spells in my deck. Maybe I'm a little too flush with removal. Why don't we only bring in one abrade? Yeah, it probably makes more sense because stomp is also basic. I mean, this is a ton of two mana removal. So I think I'm going to leave one more threat in. I felt a little threat light yesterday. It's possible the bank buster should be in to help fight the wedding announcement. Very nice, dude. Yeah, I've been doing a little bit of Vintage Cube here there, too. We just did a draft between rounds a second ago. Oh, that's sweet, dude. Nice. That's a lot. Um, This hand is slow. Very slow. God, this castle really punishing in this hand. I might actually have to mull this. If 
they have a good if they have a good curve, I'm just gonna die. If they go like one drop into Thalia, even one if they go one drop into Aspirant into Adeline too, that's just a frickin' nightmare. If they keep a wedding announcement hand though, it's honestly pretty good because I can rip the wedding announcements. It is straightforward, yeah. I think you'd like it. Just a mid-range deck. It's a good mid-range deck. I can't decide if I'm going to keep this or not. The disaster scenario is they just have like a really blistering fast draw and I, I just will die. I mean, my hand is just too slow. No one mana removal. If, if like, yeah, the sand needs a lot to go right. If we top deck an untapped black source, it would be kind of the nuts. It's about as good as a hand can be. Man, I probably need to mull this. That's frustrating. I'm going to mull that. Wow. Wow, I think that is all but one of the non-red sources in my deck. Oh, what a tilt. Okay, apparently my deck just doesn't want to play this game, I guess. Well, you got to keep and at some point. Um, I'm going to bottom this. This could catch me up. Yeah, bottom those. That's nice. Very nice. Well, this is the kind of draw why I didn't keep that first hand. So, so far at least. If he goes like good true draw. I, I almost just like, hope he just puts me out of my misery. What a stupid game two here. Deck just refusing to function at all. Okay, he didn't have a two drop, so he probably kept a wedding announcement hand. So now I, I'm pretty upset that I didn't keep the first one, but I had no way of knowing, obviously. He's missing lands. Nah, here comes wedding announcement, I assume. All right, well, we get to play the game. Je SCG's doing, SCG kind of like has GP type things now. Not the same as they used to be. That is for sure. All right, well, the Ritual of Soot could get me back in the game, actually. We might have a chance here. I really hope he just commits multiple threats to the board. That'd be amazing. Okay. Give me more. Give me more threats. More threats, baby. Thank you. Huh. I'm going to block. I have to draw a black source, though. It's a little awkward, but... I don't know that I can afford to take that damage. You know what? I'm just not going to block. We're going to make it a guarantee. I could miss on the black. I can pitch these two. Right, 
attack. That's a little different. Um, I don't know, though. There's a PT and stuff again, so... I don't... SCGs didn't ever really matter, if we're being honest. That wasn't even really all that relevant, you know? It didn't queue you for the PT. Um... I mean, it was fun to watch, obviously, but... Uh, I'm queued for the next RC right now. So if I do well at that, I will be. Okay, that's getting fatal pushed, I think. I think I have to push this, right? It's just a lot of damage. We gotta kill this. I can't really afford to wait. I mean, we've actually got a real chance here because we're about to start cloning Harvester every turn. So this is like kind of a real spot. I'd love to draw another ritual here. Ritual would be, well, it wouldn't even be that good. All right, Trespasser's a really good draw too, especially because it blocks fairly well on this board. So I just played this, I play this. Trigger. I'm going to eat the lieutenant here. Definitely the scariest one for him to get back. The recruitment officer is a problem too, but the lieutenant, a little too good. They could be on the one of extraction specialist. Take three. Not bad. Not bad. Not great either, but fine. So I'm a little worried about Brave the Elements. I kind of want to force it out of him. This is fine. Try killing this. Kill Brave. Very, very likely he has a Brave in his hand. Yep. It's fine. Could blood away this other trespasser, but I don't think that's good. If he has another brave here, I lose, but what can do? I guess if he cast a brave, I could try to blood into a fatal push. Very easy block with Graveyard Trespasser situation for me. They just block there. He can give it indestructible, but then he loses damage. So it's just actively bad for him, I think. Could have I Ganjo here, which would be annoying, but I, I think this is all I want to do. Iganjo puts him to zero cards, too, so that's a pretty big win for me. Sure, I'll go to three. Deck in stone. Rude. Pop this. 
Okay, that's not the worst. It's not great either. That's a pretty good draw. If he had Brave, he would have used it already. I'm just going to do this. So... I may just want to kill this off with Blood Tithe. Probably the play. I think it is. Go. Leave up power word kill in case he draws an Adeline. Okay, let's see. So I mean, I guess I just stomp this. He can sack it, which sucks, but... Really can't afford to not kill this here. Could also have Brave. That would suck too, but... Yeah. Oh, wow. He didn't have a spell. That is insane. Uh, I think I'd fire up 10 now, right? Fire up Den, attack you, get a 1-1. One, one. Pretty big fan of that. Eat Aspirin, eat Bodyguard, triggers, trigger this. I think my opponent might have an Iganjo, but like, they have to two for one themselves on this Trespasser, so I really don't care that much. They go to nothing, and then we have two kill spells. We're in pretty good shape, I think. The alternative is they could hit the den. Okay. I don't think that's a very good play at all. I think the trespasser is significantly more important on this board than the den. All right, take five, go. Now I could fire up Hive as well. Uh, that basically kills them, right? Six, seven, ten, puts you to one. Yeah. Let's just keep getting in the red zone. Not let my opponent top deck out of this situation. Uh, bodyguard. And Harvester. I believe you're a Ganjo. See if they have the second Iganjo. They probably do, but that's fine. They go to one. Oh, good luck. All right, sick. Three and one. Only loss was to Angels in round one, which I tried to accommodate for that matchup a little bit more today with the cages, but just didn't quite work out. They had the apparition for cage into Coco, so what are you going to do? Tried, I even held it for a turn to try and find a Thoughtseize. We just couldn't find one. We play four of them, so just as many of those as they have Skyclaves and we're on the draw and it is what it is, but a 3-1 is really good. Beating the Seath was sweet as well, so pretty pretty good prelim. Happy with this one. Just a little 3-1 action.